Got some goodies along here. Some lemons, books, and some elephants. These are kind of cool. This is from a sailfish in 1957. And this is like, a, I think this is shark's teeth that this one was made from. Kind of neat stuff. Squeeze through there. More popular mechanics, book, magazines. Some advertising. Kind of like the little 7 up sign. That's pretty neat. Little, neat little 60s clock on the wall. Pleasure chest. Bait Tina calls bacon set. Never out of the plastic. Doesn't get much more sweet than that. And then the easy bake oven. The box is kind of tattered. But inside it looks pretty clean. Lots of fun. Those dolls aren't much, but I like the old frames and shadow boxes there, in. Eh? Little 1950s uh, tile piece right there. Oh, this is called the Rosenthal Jean Steller. In the box with the certificate and the book. And just a beautiful piece of ceramic. And this is some jewelry. Good old, old box. It needs a little couple of feet on it or just take those off and set it flat. Little ivory appointments it looks like. It has the key. It needs some work, but it's just a great early 1960s type piece right there. The aluminum. Big the British Airways. Concord. Little clock. Big collection of Princess House. Heritage pattern. And uh, stuff actually sells reasonably well on eBay, so do a little research on before you come out. Uh, I might surprise you. It's um, probably worth actually buying. Make some money on that, I think. Some glass for here. A couple of non signed patterns. This one here is just really good looking. It has the, uh, the stars on the columns. And it's a big set. I'll sell you the dresser set. Group of Wedgwood, Christmas plates, and others. I love the beautiful white on yellow jasper work plate. A couple of paintings, pieces of artwork. Here are the 18th century books. Uh, there's some really cool pieces here. The one on the arm there is really cool. Lots of fold out engravings. Neat paper here in this box. Um, letters from a traveling salesman back to his wife, and then related. A couple of good pictures, too. Hand colored butterflies. Several plates, I want to say 10 plates or so together. Here you had Collins piece. Air soft guns are kind of cool. This is right now a pretty large box of really interesting photos railroad, um, trade show. This is cool. The, uh, this guy is a Civil War veteran. Inside a barber shop. Inside uh, some, some pretty cool pieces there, some little watercolors. Here's the uh, Native American collection. All the points in the start front here. And we'll probably sell these choice flaw. I mean, there's a lot of points here. Some of those are pretty decent ones. But uh, we could be here all night if we try and get it piece by piece. So come on out and make sure you know what you're looking at. Uh, in fact, I will make sure that we number the boxes. So for box one, box two, box three, so on and so forth, so that when you're Bidding, we can make it easy. The earplugs are kind of cool. Uh, some pottery pieces here and there. I think that's obsidian. Some uh, high beads. There's that uh, sewing, sewing stuff again. Kind of made a group of jewelry. I think those are amethyst, I guess. And there's a 14 karat mounts on those, and the pendant and the earrings. Uh, and the two tone bracelet is gold, 14 karat. That pendant, there's a mark on the bell you could not make out. It looks like a good early religious piece. 1913 Wellington Arms Award. Key one pocket watch that does work. Cambridge flower frog, beautiful ruby cut to clear lamp base. There's the beaded purse, beaded bag, and it has different pair on both sides, which is very unusual and very cool. Boxes of jewelry, silver, some turquoise stuff, uh, some gemstones up front on the bottom. And here's the, the pots, they're Salazi. Uh, so just good early pieces of pottery here, the fish pipe. <laughs> Love the clay beads made into the necklace from there. There's an indecipherable mark on the belt. 
but we're pretty certain that it is a silver piece and good with native. Native cufflinks are kind of neat and earrings are cool. Here are the bigger stones, the uh, head, the um, you know, hammers, scrapers, points. All the ends are kind of with it, some different stones, rocks, all kinds of goodies. Another group of good postcards, uh, disaster stuff, good Christmas, Halloween. Uh, these are Eskimos. I think they are Pacific Beach, Washington, I think. Uh, there's a couple political pieces in there. of the uh, Easter egg, Easter piece. Photographs of a wedding, some more railroad, you know, Bates and Bates grocery postcard. Uh, there's some really good paper goods. Neat glass flies, there's Kansas City pieces, and then there's some, uh, there's some kids covering Halloween jack o' lantern. Some really neat stuff. Nice little stack of bookcase. Good looking old thing. Uh, couldn't quite decide the name. Paul Van something or other. And it's close up on it, so if you can figure it out, you might be ahead of the game there. This is a cool piece. The uh, beveled mirror on the bracket. And I can't do it with one hand again. Sometimes it just doesn't work when you do it by yourself. Um, it does go in and out. A couple of whole pieces. Some neat pieces of pottery here. Ooh, this is a little thing. Cool piece here, the buffalo pottery with the Native American membrano type. It doesn't have any railroad associated with it, but it's restaurant quality and it's just a good looking piece. Sneak piece of artwork, good looking lamp. Like the arcade crystal coffee grinder. These are kind of neat little ceramic art studio banks. Beautiful carved pink jade box. So the little elite piece are actually glued in. So uh, kind of neat. But I'm not sure what the condition will be. Anyways, these are cool. The uh, collector of estates so they're scholar rocks. They look like it's just desktop size, I would imagine. Really like the pair of hand paints on this. Beautiful kind of mess set. Okay, so we're talking. Computer pieces. Nice little kind of a glass punch bowl with some cups and more lusterware all across the table and then into the shelf. Some neat shakers. Over the muffin ear. Great. This is so good. Sure, it's unusual piece. You see the herbs in the bottom of the bowl. Nice little cubist cat. Some glass. Really pretty fireside uh, Fred Thompson hand colored pic photograph. A German photo from the 20s, it looks like. It's a nice little painting. You know, gray scene, but uh, still a nice painting of a church. And it almost looks like I don't know how the church of a country called Christian Power there. Huh. Not quite, but. Neat little mil nice big mirror, actually. So that's it. Not a huge auction this week. We have that great book sale, a state little, little state sale at the uh, Plaza Point apartment last weekend. Sold the uh, upwards of 7,000 books, almost 800 models. Uh, sold out the apartment to the walls. It was a great outfit sale. And then, of course, stay tuned Monday night on KCPT for the Antique Sharp Show. We'll be hosting that again, or I will. And uh, we look forward to seeing you here on Tuesday. And have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy. Come on down and check out all the shops.